Here we go, guys. Majority of Americans feel job security. Yep. I've got a cute little girl here that, uh, let's see, what is she? Oh, she's uh, uh, stressed out about the economy. I think she's a head scientific officer or something of this uh, head, head space. Uh, but a lot of people are worried about they're going to lose their job next six months. Uh, you know, if I can keep my head together on it. As it stands, nearly 40 million people are out of work as a COVID-19 crisis ravages the economy. Well, what really ravaged the economy was hysteria. The stuff they kept promoting in the media, fear, fear, fear. Fear of a hoax. Fear of a, fear of a farce. They've damn near ruined this country because of this. And Dr. Bricks and Dr. Fauci and the World Health Organization and the CDC. And people should all be thrown in jail. They created a riot. You know, close enough to almost to uh, trying to overthrow the government. Pretty much. We're seeing an increase in, in stress and anxiety. Uh, they, can, they might lose their job, have their salaries cut, or and uh, worried about their mental health and all this good stuff. Headspace found that nearly half of those Americans who remain unemployed, who remain employed, feel that they must work even harder and longer hours to prove their worth to management. I don't think so. You know, people are worried about losing their house and their cars and, and everything. Well, here's the thing. I, this is what how I see this. When Barack Obama was president, he used a lot of American taxpayer money to bail out all these banks. And when they did that, they should have given every taxpayer who had a mortgage with a bank or, or whatever kind of a, a thing that they had signed up for on their house, that should have been automatically paid off because we bailed out the banks. Now, for these banks to come after people now because of house payments or car payments or something, I'm sorry. We need to kill that bank. And people aren't getting enough sleep and all this anxiety. And it's all because of a hoax. They want they want you to take care to take their uh, vaccine that they got on, on the block. Now they didn't work on this first wave. Now Dr. Brixie had kind of promised us maybe a second wave of this stuff coming in because you know Gates and crew they got to make their money back. I mean they staged all this. I mean the American people know that we're not stupid. We know how to put things together. We knew this is how we this is how fuzzy sees it anyway. Not about the rest of the country. Okay, but anyway, that's what's going on. Uh, fear of uh, the job things, and uh, everybody should. They should worry about this, but they should worry about the people that put us in this predicament. Let's get let's take care of that first. Let's take care of that first. Like I said, this is the biggest farce perpetrated uh, uh, on the American people since the oceanfront property out in Arizona. It's a farce. Now it's time to get back to work. Let's get that doggone propaganda law taken out of the in, of the uh, uh, National Defense Authorization Act. The NDAA that they uh, put in there back in 2012. Let's get that removed so we don't get no more fake news. And they can't do this to the American people. And if President Trump doesn't get off his ass and do that, then he's not the guy you want to vote for. Thanks for watching.